Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine. Well friends, today I have received um, this shipment, this parcel from uh, one of my YouTube customer. He is from Calcutta. So I think this is uh, IV300 Sony model home theater. So let's check it out what's the issue in this. Is written over here. See, so let's put it on power and check. So let's put it on power. We'll check where's the issue. So, guys, I put it on. See, display come. Hello, come. Now this will go, we will put it on, so, so, so we will connect Bluetooth, so I have connected with my mobile, so we will on now, so guys I have already connected, see it is working, now I will check the sound, See there is no sound, no sound output. See guys there is no sound output coming from this unit, from this uh, Sony IV300. So that's why there is a problem inside of this. So we'll just, just we'll dismantle it out, screws, we'll put it off first. Okay, so I have to remove it out of the screws. So the problem in this is no audio output. This is the one. So friends, as you have know, this is, there is no sound in this system. This is came from my, one of uh, YouTube customer. There was uh, no sound output from the this system. So guys, I have already dismantled the high voltage power to the power amp. And you know why uh, on pin number 22 and 24 it is um, a plus B supply I mean 3.3 .3 volt supply to this uh, amp board so when I am checking this one I am getting some you know abnormal ohms it should not be like that actually see this is 24 and this is 23 so 22 uh, sorry 22 and 24 is plus B supply 3.3 .3 volt DC supply just showing some shorting you see so I'll just remove the strip we'll check see guys this is how maybe someone tried to you know try to remove it on and put it back and he did not notice see guys how they fix somebody try to remove it out and put it back see the strip they damage it and it is shorted so that's why the backs this are the same see because of this one see so because of this one uh, IC may get shorter that is showing zero ohms so anyway we have removed out now we will check now ohms in that so guys now we have already disconnected this strip from amp board to main digital board so now we'll check is there any shorting see still shorting is persist so it should not supposed to be show this much ohms it should show some kilo ohms so it means there is a shorting is there in the amp board so this supply is going to the this stream ic so we need to check the components around stream ic and if all components small small smd components are good then finally stream ic should be culprit so guys we will take it out so i already removed the screws it sink this one so now we will check separately 
these are two main output ICs are there so now we'll check some components around here just keep watching the video so, so keep this aside so guys pin number we'll check with the IC pin number 9 is supply pin IC this one see guys I think uh, we need to check all the pins or better to remove the IC I think it's showing shorting anyway we'll check step by step now wait so friends in this IC it was showing shorting before I, sub, uh, I just disconnected some uh, supply pin of this IC pin number 914 so now it is uh, not showing that much ohms this is pin number 9 before this is pin number 9 it's showing some 6 to 5 ohm 5 to 6 ohm but now it is increased to 390 so after in, after going uh, after uh, I mean to say uh, inserting the pin number 9 plus B only it is showing shorting so now we will replace this confirm that the IC is shorted so we will try to replace this IC with the new one so guys I got the new IC with me so we will replace this IC with a new one so I got new IC with me so just keep watching my video I will replace this IC this is the number of this IC is TAS5538 TAS5538 this is stream IC so now we will replace this with the new one so guys we will replace now IC friends I have already cleaned this one it should be like this so now we will fix new IC in this so we will fix new IC Uh, TAS 5538 IC so now we'll solder this one perfectly we'll so this will take time to solder this one this is not easy because the pins are very very small so we need to adjust this one first completely so just keep watching I just solder this one so guys as we have seen I have already fixed this stream, stream IC see the soldering so now I have already cleaned the board also so now we'll fix it back and we'll check what is the status okay guys just keep watching my video I will fix it then so guys I have already fixed its M board as you know we have replaced the stream IC in this so now we'll put it on I'll put it on and we need to wait till this go so now we'll put it supply I will give the sync switch off now we'll put it on it's on so we'll connect to the bluetooth and check the signal we'll check the audio output also moving so now we'll check the video uh, sorry we'll check the audio output I don't have the speaker the customer didn't uh, give me the original speaker so we'll check with the wire only this is uh, front right this is front left this is uh, woofer subwoofer this is center this is surround right this is surround left so guys so like this we already sorted the problem we changed the stream IC thank you very much for watching my video if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe it and please don't forget to press bell button so that whenever I upload new video you will receive its notification uh, if you like my video friends like it share it and if you have any comments please leave it in the comment box take care see you uh, see you soon in next video thank you